Lord Jesus, please give us a heart for intercession. Help us, Lord, to pick up our cross and follow you, and to put our concerns more on the salvation of souls, Lord, and using our gifts to serve others and show your mercy to all before you return for us. Amen. Well, guys, I had a real um, exciting uh, day of prayer after I um, got up this morning. Um, with all the news, uh, with possible World War III and, um, you know, extinction of America, I began to feel like really, really uh, heavy, discouraged, uh, depressed, and also very uh, full of anxiety and fear. And mostly because I fear, you know, that I wasn't, I haven't done enough for the Lord and that, you know, I was uh, wasting my time and my life, you know, by not really using all the gifts that He's given me. And I was just like, Lord, please, like, just, uh, please, I just wish we had more time. And uh, I was desperate to get a word from him because I didn't know where else to turn to. And I uh, just could not um, focus because of my fear. And I was just repenting and just asking the Lord for mercy as well. So I went to the uh, Hard Doors website to get a rhema. And I got a rhema message. And it talked about the delay of the rapture and also about um, forestalling the war through our prayers of mercy. God forestalling the war through our prayers of mercy, just as He did uh, with Nineveh, how He had not allowed destruction to come upon Nineveh because the people fasted and prayed and repented and asked for mercy, and God relented. And uh, it was the same thing that had happened. Uh, this was an older message back the Lord delayed the rapture and the war because many of His servants, faithful ones, had prayed and interceded uh, before Him for mercy. And they repented and fasted. And so the Lord re relented, just like He did with Nineveh. And so after reading this message, I, I was like, hmm, man, this is real interesting. I wonder, if, I wonder if I'll get a reading about Nineveh in the Mass readings. So I picked up my uh, missile, the missile that I used to um, get readings from before I do the Mass, the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. And what did I turn to? Nineveh. And I was like, oh my goodness. And it also turns out that a dear brother of ours also got the same reading the day before. So I was like, wait a minute, Lord, are you trying to say something? And here's what it says uh, in Nineveh, just in case you don't know. This was the first reading I got, the first reading I turned to. Uh, and this is from uh, Jonah, the book, book of the prophet Jonah, chapter 3, verses uh, 1 through 5, and also from verse 10. And it says, The word of the Lord came to Jonah, saying, Set out for the great city of Nineveh, and announce to it the message that I will tell you. So Jonah made ready, and went to Nineveh according to the Lord's bidding. Now Nineveh was an enormously large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began his journey through the city and had gone but a single day's walk announcing, Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be destroyed. When the people of Nineveh believed God, they proclaimed a fast, and all of them, great and small, put on sackcloth. When God saw by their actions how they turned from their evil way, he repented of the evil that he had threatened to do to them. He did not carry it out. And this is the word of the Lord. And so, um, Weeks before that, uh, weeks before that, I received also a dream from the Lord where I was in this church with a fellow believer. I did not know who this believer was, but all I know is that he quoted, um, he quoted from the scriptures from Second Chronicles, and he said, uh, you know, the Lord's words, and he said, if my people who are called by my name shall pray and shall humble themselves, well, I'm sorry, please forgive me, guys. He says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. And I was like, wait a minute. Wow, this is just like what happened in Nineveh. The people prayed, they repented, humbled themselves and turned from their wicked ways. And God forgave their sins and he healed their land. He did not punish them like he was going to do. So I was like, I started to put two and two together. I was like, oh, okay. So I. I think, Lord, you're asking us to intercede for more mercy. And uh, as I received Jesus, 
Jesus in the Eucharist, in Holy Communion, I came before him to receive a message from him. And this is what he has to say. And he quoted the scriptures from Chronicles as well. Jesus began, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. My people, the hour before you is critical and desperate times call for desperate prayer and fasting. This war does not have to happen, meaning World War III. My mercy can forestall anything, even at the last minute. Yes, some of you are weary, weary with sin, with injustice and suffering. I'm not disagreeing with you. I too desire it to end. But my mercy holds out for just one more soul to come to me. My children, I am still after the lost sheep. I rejoice more over their return rather than those who have found me, who have already found me. My brides, you are still too worldly and selfish in your thinking. Please adopt my attitude and pray with compassion for the lost around the, for the lost around you. It seems World War III is knocking at your door, and indeed it is. But that does not mean that has to happen now. If you sincerely pray and fast and cry out to me with all your heart, I will hear from heaven and have mercy. This is not the time to get comfortable and wait for the rapture. No, I still need your repentance, your works of mercy, your prayers and ministry to souls more than ever. This can be turned around, even as Nineveh was spared. It is up to you, my brides. What do you want? Do you want mercy? Then pray and seek me without delay. Renounce your laziness and selfishness and come before me having faith in my mercy. For I am slow to anger and rich in compassion and mercy. This war is not my will. Yes, America has inflamed the anger of my father with her sins against us and humanity. But my heart is still merciful and I shall forgive her many sins. I waste no time interceding before you. I'm sorry, I waste no time interceding for you before my father. Why then are you slow to pray for others? If you're just sitting around looking for the, the rapture, you are wasting time. My brothers and sisters, yes, I am calling you to intercede before my father and your father. If you are not with me, you are against me. And that was the end of the Lord Jesus' message. And many of you are probably confused as to like what he's talking about, you know, when he's telling us to renounce um, laziness and selfishness. Well, in the Rhema message, uh, our dear mother talked about how some of us, you know, we're just waiting around, you know, because we're, you know, seeing that oh, maybe prayer is inevitable because the, the, uh, the war is going to happen and, the, and that the war is inevitable so that prayer is useless. But the Lord is saying, no, no, I still need your prayers because it can be forestalled. And some of us are just, you know, wandering around waiting for the rapture. We're not praying for the lost and for those who need to be saved. You know, we're not uh, looking to the needs of those around us or seeing what we can do to bring them. The Lord, we're just, you know, being lackadaisical and lazy and you know, kind of just waiting for the Lord to return in a rapture because we're just tired of the suffering and tired of the sin and tired of the corruption of the governments and the injustice. And the Lord is saying, yes, yes, I I get it. I am tired. I, I am tired with you, but I still need more. I still need more of you. You still have more to give. And the Lord wants us not to be lazy in our ministries, but to keep pressing forward in Him. And when He, when he comes, He will find us working. He'll not find us being lazy. He'll find us tending his sheep and uh, using the talents he gave us to serve and glorify his name. And we'll be like the wise virgins, full of oil in their lamps. We won't be like the foolish virgins who didn't have any oil. And the oil represents our good works. So let us persevere. Let us persevere, brothers and sisters, in, in love and charity and praying for mercy for the war to be forestalled, for God's mercy to avail, and for more, um, uh, more time to get ready to prepare because the bride of Christ is still not prepared she's still 
uh, in need of repentance, to truly repent and turn away from the world. So let us all invoke the Lord with, with mercy, along with our Mother of Mercy, Mary. And God bless you guys all into the next message. May Jesus be with you.